In today's video, we're opening the brand new set, Legacy of Destruction. What's up guys, we're back with a brand new box opening, Legacy of Destruction. We did a little sneak preview from YCS Raleigh a couple of days ago, so you guys have seen me open one box of this, but I didn't really get to talk a lot about the set or anything because it was like Monday, or no, when was it? I guess I recorded that Sunday, Saturday. It was like it was forever ago. It was before I knew anything about the set itself, so I was just kind of opening up, getting first impressions, and it was kind of with Sean, so we were just kind of going back and forth. So I'm excited to actually check this thing out and dive into it a little bit more in this video. And I'll be giving away every card we pull in this video. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications let me know down below your favorite card that you have seen in legacy of destruction also what are you trying to get out of here i'm trying to figure out what the best cards are i've looked around a little bit it looks like diabelle's the secret rare is a big one and there's a super that's like 17 bucks right now so that's pretty exciting and if you do want to grab some of these boxes yourself go check out sassy Auto's affiliate link down below you get five percent off using my code it's also an affiliate for me so let's go let's get these open and let's start opening 48 packs to be open today I'm gonna cut to where I have all the packs out. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. If you haven't heard yet, Whatnot is an awesome auction platform where you can both buy and sell. I stream on there all the time, selling a lot of cards, whether it be the new sets, whether it be vintage box breaks like we did recently with the Magician's Force First Ed and Unlimited. But this week we have a new set, Legacy of Destruction coming out, and I'm gonna be opening it up this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. Now that's assuming we get all our cases and everything, otherwise we'll push it back a day. But for now, it's Thursday at 5 p.m. Mark your calendars, go check out Whatnot down below, click the link get $15 free credit. Once you're in there, search Ruxin34, find my profile, go to the show, and then bookmark my stream so you don't forget about it. It's going to be super fun. We'll be opening the newest set, Legacy of Destruction, giving away some booster boxes of the new set, and many, many more. So hope to see you guys at 5 p.m. Central this Thursday. Make sure you give me a follow on Whatnot for future streams. There's going to be a lot of them coming up. Super excited. Hope to see you there. All right, I've got all the packs out. First of all, before we get started, I want to just say the cover art for the packs and the boxes are really cool. I mean, just a giant dragon. I really don't What dragon is this? I guess we'll maybe figure it out if we pull it, but that's a really cool looking artwork. I mean, it's I mean, the orange and the black, that's really awesome. I mean, I just feel like it's really, really nice cover art. We haven't had a cover art this cool in quite a while. So I will say that for this set, it's great. I don't know how the rest of the set's going to go in terms of actual cards. So let's just start opening. So there is Light Sworn stuff in here, which is pretty exciting for a lot of people. It has that baby Light Sworn, the Dragonling, I think is what it's called. So that's pretty cool. We pulled that the other day, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, Haggard is, I think Haggard, is that a new archetype? We have Lizardos, a uh, couple of the Melodious Songstress, Valmonica, Sinful Spoils, Valmonica again. We have In Papa's Footsteps, okay. Following after Papa in the snow, interesting. We have Simultaneous Equation Cannons, Rocks and Special, first one of the day on the first pack. Meltronus, okay, so uh, super rare right off the bat. There is a $17 super at the moment. Remember, it's pre-release, so pre-release prices are gonna change. As soon as Friday hits and everybody can list on TCG player, prices are all gonna change. So keep that in mind, but for right now, it's like a $17 super. And that one is the Tenpai Dragon Pedra. So Tenpai Dragon, I think is the bigger, I think this is probably a Tenpai Dragon. It might be the Pedra, who knows, but they're the bigger uh, archetype out of here. So that is kind of what we're looking for. This is the first box opening, so I mean, technically second, but. We're going to go straight through silence. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah, we got to we got to give him a highlight. The Mick retrain from TP2. So if you guys remember the uh, this thing is I can't say the name. We just call it Mick from TP2. It's a rare. It's pretty expensive. It will pop it up on the screen, but this is the retrain for it. So pretty cool to see that card. It also looks really, really cool. Uh, turn silence. So it mentioned silence right on the cover. Uh, okay, maybe it was on the box. It said something about the silence monsters or something. Oh, Ancient Gear Duel. He's about to punch somebody. Let's keep going. So far, nothing too crazy. Extinguishing Talos, Cooling Embers, Melodious, and Dandy White Lion. I saw this one the other day. This is pretty wild. So it's like a dandy retrain. And his like hair thing is almost like transparent. It's very, you can't even see it. So very strange. So the Dandelion has made its way back. Baka, we have Light Sworn, Arch, Weiss. Is that a reverence to Weiss Schwartz? I don't know. Light Sworn Archfiend. The Light Sworn Archfiend. Is that our first Light Sworn? It's a tuner. It's cool. Ancient Gear Advance. So Ancient Gears are in here. That's strange. Uh, Sangin Pie Transcendent Dragon. So does that count as like the Ten Pie? Sangin Pie? It seems like it does. That's a 3K Synchro Double Die. We've got Ancient Gear and Ancient Gear Commander. Oh, cool. More Ancient Gear stuff. I actually like that. I don't know if anybody cares about that stuff anymore. But Ancient Gears are pretty awesome. I mean, they have some... They're pretty fun in, uh, guess where? Duel Links for a while. We have, oh, the Diabels, the original Sin Keeper. I think this is the top secret rare. It's about 43 bucks at the time. 
and then uh, Tenpai Dragon Phaedra. That's pretty awesome. Okay, we're hitting it big so far. This is literally the best card. Let's see what it does. It's an illusion monster. Very cool. It's like Dark Magician stuff. If a sinful spoils card in either player's graveyard, you could special summon this card from your hand. Either player. Interesting. You can only special summon Diabelle's original Sin Keeper once per turn this way. Your opponent must set spell trap cards before activating them. Oh my gosh. So it's like uh, anti-spell fragrance, uh, except it's both spells and traps. If a spell trap becomes set on the field while this card is in the monster zone, except during the damage step, you can target one card you control, one card your opponent controls, destroy them. So basically, they try to set something, they can't activate it until the next turn. You can then pop one of your own cards and one of the set cards, so they just never get to use it. That's pretty crazy. Okay, I see why that's an expensive card. That seems like it could be really, really insane used in the right deck. Okay, so yeah, back row, good luck. Really not even back row, they're making it be back row. Like, even like quick play and stuff like that, like that you wouldn't want to be back row. Um, no, no pack trick, I forgot. Then it has to be back row because it has to be set. That's pretty crazy. So, Baco, we have Tin Pie, Cyclos, the Circular Sprite, and Haggard Lizados. I'm trying to look at some of the commons before we get too crazy and start going super fast. But very, very cool. Good stuff. Blessing of the Voiceless Voice. The so Voiceless Voice came out. There's Phaedra again. Uh, fairly recently. I'm trying to think of what set it uh, it debuted in. I don't remember. We have Refrain. We have Simultaneous. Gold Pride Eradicator. Eradicating the Gold Pride. So our first Ultra of the day. One Ultra, one Secret. Stronghold of the Hidden Fortress. So Fortress, cool. A lot of cool stuff in here so far. Not a lot of Light Sworn stuff from what I've seen. We have Extinguishing. We have Cooling Embers. Melodious. Oh, a double! DML, the original Sin Keeper. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Back to back, $43 secret rare. Uh, so no spells and traps will be activated. Now we have two of them. We're just gonna start popping stuff. All right, uh, it's gonna be hard to top that. I mean, uh, uh, QCR, I guess. QCR could be nice. Uh, wow, that is pretty crazy. We have Fishborg Harpooner. All right, blink out. Uh, Dino Vetus Docus. Baka and Moment Land. Oh, and I want to remind you guys, tomorrow we are going to be opening this set on Whatnot, so make sure you guys come out at 5 p.m. Central. It's going to be super fun. I'll have some available. We'll be giving away boxes. We'll be selling packs, et cetera, et cetera. There'll be other stuff as well, so it's going to be super fun. Go check it out. It's going to be awesome. Also, probably going to be doing a uh, live stream opening this stuff up like we like we do on YouTube, but it's been a long time because there hasn't been a new set in forever, so we're probably going to be opening this up Saturday, probably. There's a... Ragnarika Stag Sovereign. Okay. It looks pretty intense. That's an insect. Whoa. A Link 5 insect. Wow, that's insane. Two plus insect, plant, and or reptile monsters. Man, the text is so small in here. I'm getting old. I can't read it. A Link 5. That is wild. That is going to be hard to get out. I mean, five different monsters. Pretty crazy. Okay. Let's see what we can get next. Or unless you have a bigger Link, but probably would evolve that. Shaman of the Ashen City. I mean, Ashen was pretty big. Oh, Grave Squirmer got a retrain? The gruesome Grave Squirmer? The artwork on this is so good. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh, this is incredible. They, they crushed that. Tenpai Dragon, Chunt, dude, the Tenpai Dragon stuff is cheap. I mean, it's like commons and stuff. Maybe that's why that super is so expensive. It's like the highest rarity or something of all the cards. Okay, we have uh, Aza. We have Ragnarok Skeletal Soldier, Rekindling the Ashen. That is a super, a Krishnerd Witch. Weiss and Ragnarika. White, White Lord! Gotta shout out White Lord. Check him out! Look at his hair! It's like a founding father. Like, what in the world? <laughs> That's amazing. Good stuff. We still haven't got the big super yet, so let's see if we can do that. Centur Iron's in here. Centurion. I always call it Centur Iron for some reason. It's not even iron, it's Ion. Pyrite Knight. Centurion. Duh. Okay, I figured it out. Don't worry, guys. I won't say that anymore. I won't say that anymore. Let's see what else we got. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, we went crazy on this stuff. We went crazy on this stuff. These boxes are nuts. Okay. We saw a little shiny on the side. This has been a crazy opening. We've already gotten the two the secret the best secret twice. Let's see what we can get now. Can we get the best QCR? Blank out. Cyclos. Aza, Simple Spoils of Slumber, Moraine, Ragnarika, Sangin, Sangin? Sangin, Kai, Kaimena, interesting, and what's the best, wait, the best QCR according to this is Nightmare Throne, here we go. Ooh, Nightmare Apprentice, I think that one's pretty good. That is the fourth best, Q no, wait, I'm, wait, no, wait, they have it in the wrong order, that's the third best QCR, it's a dollar better than the Sephira. Okay, this is a good giveaway, guys. 
Make sure you enter the giveaway in today's video because you guys can win all the cards we pulled, which by the way, I mean, this is what we pulled. Two Diabells, Gold Bride, and the QCR. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Nightmare Apprentice. That is insane. That's one of the better secrets and it's in QCR form. So, wow. I mean, I don't even know what to do at this point. We, I mean, we just... Let's just keep going. I mean, this has been a crazy opening. Marat, we, now we just really want that super rare, right? Ancient Gear Tech. Why does this look like Iron Treads? You guys know Pokemon fans. Go check out Pokerux, by the way, if you haven't already. Last video, not doing so well, but I think it's pretty good. So go check it out. Uh, Moment Slan. Momento Tlan. Twin Dragon. There's the retrain again. And oh, twa, the Light Sworn Dragonling. It's my favorite card in the set. Light Sworn Dragonling. Cute little Judgment Dragon. Dude, this is such a good opening. Oh my goodness. We've, we've pulled everything. Like what? <laughs> I mean, we still need to pull uh, Magician of Bonds and Unity. I haven't mentioned that. Magician, the last print of Magician of Bonds and Unity is in here. Ancient Gear Dark Golem. That's pretty dope, actually. Dark Golem. Where's all the Light Sworn stuff? I don't know. I mean, I guess we just, well, we just pulled the Dragon Link. But other than that. Okay, I, I don't know exactly how many Light Sworn cards there are, but uh, we've pulled a couple of them. But Gold Pride Eliminator. Eliminating Gold Pride. Goodbye. Still a lot of packs. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Such a good opening. Such a good opening. Uh, Transcendent Dragon. Back at it again. Very cool. Tenpai Dragon Chundra. A lot of commons for the Tenpai Dragons. So that's pretty cool. What else can we pull? The Biden Dragon. We have Future Silence. I don't know if this is a good card or not, but oh, Silent Magician's definitely not good. It's a rhyme style card. Shout out to Rhyme. Love Silent Magician. Uh, so there you go. Silent Magician is also in Rarity Collection too. So maybe that's why they give it a retrain. Or maybe that's, no, that's probably why they put it in Rarity Collection too. Because they're retraining it. Oh, so wait. Shining Sarcophagus. Is that related to Silent Magician Summit? Are they like a related archetype? Okay, I didn't realize that. But that's definitely Silent Magician. So I'm guessing so. Very cool secret rare. Uh, Str Salit Trice of Almonica. Okay. Stuff I'm not as... I haven't seen much about this stuff, so I don't know if it's good or not. Probably not. Let's see about the rest of this. We have Transcendent Dragon. The, the Witch is back. Stronghold. So many pulls that are good. We have Gadget Trio. This is awesome. We got the Gadget Trio. Another gadget card. Normal summon or special summon. You can add one. Shining Sarcophagus or... So is this like a Yugi archetype? Because it's just Yugi cards. Silent Magician, Gadgets, Sarcophagus, and then Strong All the Moving Fortress. I think it's got to be just like a Yugi archetype, like little Yugi, like baby Yugi. Not like Yugi Moto, not uh, not the uh, Pharaoh. We have Supreme King Zark. <sighs> okay, I guess that's what that is. I'm trying to figure it out. <sighs> Man, this is intense. This has been a good opening. We have, oh yes, more Marshmallow! Yes, <laughs> you cannot beat it. He's got his glasses on too. From Premium Pack, the glasses, he's wearing them. More Marshmallow on, that is awesome. And if you control Shining Sarcophagus, it's a Yuki, it's a Yuki archetype, I figured it out. Okay, wow, this is a cool set, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's great in terms of competitive, I mean, cause like the prices, there's nothing like, it's like 80 bucks or anything. So I'm guessing not. But in terms of like cool cards that are coming out for one reason or another, it feels like there's a lot of them in here. I'm liking the set so far, I think it's cool. Uh, Jungle Dweller, we have the Silent Swordsman Zero. Okay, Rhyme is, get, Rhyme is gonna enjoy this one. He's gonna enjoy this set. Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician. Guys, speaking of Rarity Collection earlier, it's like a month away or less. I, I'm like, whoa, it snuck up on us. Cause like, it was like, whoa, that's so, when, it, when it came out and it was released, I was thinking, man, that's so close. But then like, we didn't have a new set for forever. So it's like, I didn't really think about it as much. And now it's right, it's right there. By the way, I do have an affiliate and a 5% discount down below for that as well. So go check out Sassy Auto. Um, but I am super excited for that. It's going to be awesome. We're going to open for every single card in the set. All the versions. We have a Void Burial. So yeah, we will be streaming many, many hours that day. Completing the binders. But I still need to get two more binders like I did last year. So if you guys have any recommendations or a binder. People with binders, you guys want to help me out, hook me up. That'd be great. Just work harpooner uh and we could shout you out in the video It'd be pretty cool it'll be nine hours so you get a lot of shout outs okay getting down toward maybe the last quarter of the opening been a little slower this time i've been trying to uh, you know appreciate the set a little bit since we have done an opening already uh usually the first one i start zooming through it and just like looking kind of looking around but because we've already done one with sean chaotic meatball on monday uh, I figured that we might as well take a little bit of a closer look at this stuff. And I'm just interested. There's a Light Sword card, Aegis. Uh, Ashen, we have Simultaneous. A multi-universe. Still have not pulled the big super yet, though, unfortunately. I'm guessing based on the price of it that it's short printed, kind of like they did with the uh, uh, Rescue Ace Hydrant. I'm guessing it's short printed. Even though that was a collector rare set, wasn't it? 
I think, maybe. I can't remember, but based on the price, like I pulled one out of three boxes. Like if I finish this with one, we got one the other day. We haven't gotten any in two boxes here. So and before a case, I mean, that's like super, super low for a, for a super rare. I gotta say, stop saying super, it's too much. Spirit of the Ashen City. All right, a few more packs. Let's see what we can get. Can we get the big super, the Tin Pie Dragon? We have Rekindling of the Ashen, Dino Vetus Docus. Still a bunch of cards left. What shall we pull? Minerva, the Athenian Light Sworn, ultra rare. So Minerva, that's a Light Sworn card. We did pull that the other day. So two Light Sworn pulls in this video. Are there any secret rare Light Sworns? I don't, I don't think we've pulled, we've pulled what, three secrets? Is there another secret coming? Okay, Blessings of the Voiceless Voice. Ragnarika is pretty cool looking. Blink out. Uh, Six more packs. Six more packs. That is uh, like one, what, one eighth of the packs left. We have uh, more Marshmallow on. I love that card. Very, very awesome. Not going to be sad to pull that. Five packs left. Five more chances to get something amazing. Jungle Dweller. We have the Enlightenment Dragon. That's dope. Judgment Dragon and Punishment Dragon fused together. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if it's good, but that's very, very awesome. Okay. Enlightenment Dragon, Punishment and Judgment Dragon put together. Jungle Dweller. Oh, there is a, there it is, the cover card. Oh, it's a Gandora reprint. Gandora G, the Dragon of Destruction. Gandora is like a really old Yu-Gi-Oh card that I think was like a promo or something. I'm trying to remember where it came out. And uh, it's also a Yu-Gi card, so it makes sense. Gandora G, the Dragon of Destruction. We got the cover card. Wow, what an opening. We've got so many good cards in this. Three packs left. This is insane. One sixteenth of the opening left. We have Tandrum. We have Enlightenment Dragon. Wow, what an opening. What an opening. We have more Marshmallow, three of them. Let's go. The only thing we didn't get is that super rare. Last pack magic. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have. And go check out Ruxa34.com if you want to grab something. As well as Sassiato's affiliate links for Legacy of Destruction and Rarity Collection 2 coming up. I have a 5% discount code for both. They are in the description of my video. Here we go. Last chance to get, and oh, we could get two QCR. Let's see if we do it. Ancient Gear. Okay, I don't think we did it. We have... Oh, the Pedra! Last pack. This is like the $17 super rare. So literally, I don't know if you could have had a better opening than this. It is hard to top. You guys can win every single card, so make sure you enter the giveaway. And then, yeah, we got a few more cards. So yeah, that was insane. Shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Puffin Sudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.